Hey everyone, it's Eric back with All Replay. I'm gonna get back on this 2000 Ford, this is Mercedes Benz SLK 320. And we're gonna hook up the airbag sensors since everything's been restarted in, and we're gonna crank the car up. And hopefully, the airbags do not deploy. So I'm gonna be safe. I'm gonna hide underneath the steering wheel while I turn on, and we'll see what happens. All right, let's go ahead and get with it. All right, so uh, the battery should have been charging. So it should be good to go. Yeah, it looks like it's got a green light. And yeah, this battery charge is awesome. So I'm just gonna go ahead and unplug it for now. I can do it with one hand. Cause uh, if I crank this up. Hold on one second. All right, so I got to unplug. That way it's not sending juice back to this battery tender 800. I think it's good, man, keeping the battery charged. You know, I just kind of have it plugged in. You see how long this thing's been sitting, man. It's got leaves everywhere. I mean, this leaves just sitting there where these good wash. Ah, man. We're gonna find out what's gonna happen. I'm gonna go ahead and hook up the airbag sensors that I purchased off eBay. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and just put them on here for now. And uh, on this side and that side, we're just gonna let them sit there plug them in with the connectors that it, I resoldered on here and then we're gonna turn the car on and I'm gonna stay out of the way of this I'm gonna, I'm gonna hide on the pier <laughs> and hope to God that this airbag and this airbag does not hit me I mean that one hopefully doesn't bust the windshield if it does I'm gonna be mad as hell uh, I'm just gonna park this car out <laughs> <laughs> but uh i'm working on getting some rollers and stuff if everything works out good we'll go through and we'll you know wire brush all this back again and put the rust seal down and go from there so let's try it i mean what the hell you know what i mean uh it's a damn nightmare all right hold on so grabbing the good old dewalt i got this for christmas i think last year man this thing's been a blessing you know for what i enjoy doing so i think it's a 10 millimeter i'm gonna find out which one it is and then we'll take the, uh put those on all right so uh 5 sixteenths we get these bolts out i may need look at getting some other bolts but i'm gonna take these loose i'm gonna go ahead and mount these airbag sensors here well like that temporarily plug them in and we'll turn this car on and see what happens so so far so good uh the new sensor on the passenger and the driver's side are plugged in and i forgot the battery is hooked up i probably should have disconnected the battery <laughs> but uh so far you know everything's oh no it is disconnected i've been charging just the battery itself so let me go ahead and plug in the battery connection and uh i guess we'll do positive and negative um and pray to god lord don't let the airbags <laughs> deploy <laughs> uh nerve-wracking but let's just touch it for a second hey we got power we got some juice so uh i think i'm gonna let that sit right there make sure nothing falls up in there I want to crank her over. All right, I'm going to get way the hell down here. And uh, I think I'm going to put the camera up here so you can see. Let me get a little stand and I'll be back. I think I'm going to grab the transmission computer. I'm going to unplug this battery, grab the transmission computer, plug that in just in case. The engine needs that to communicate even though we're not driving nowhere. Um, we're just gonna go ahead and pull these barricades back off. But I was able to kind of get my garage clean. I put in a instant hot water heater for my wife. The thing works great, man. And then I went and cleaned everything up, put everything back here in the seats and the parts. So I think the transmission computer is sitting back here too on a shelf. Uh, it's somewhere back here. Oh, there it is behind this thing. So let me grab this out of here. All right. So I got the transmission computer plugged in. This is for the stereo amp. I'm not gonna worry about that. I just wanna at least plug it in so it can run right. Let's go ahead and reconnect 
this and we're going to crank this thing up. Got a little something, something going on there. I'm just going to leave it loose. I'm probably going to take it back loose. Let's see what happens. All right, so moment of truth. Let's see what it does. Okay, I think it's on there. SRS lights on. It's in part. Well, no airbag light. <laughs> uh, no airbags blown. She cranked up pretty good. No, you can't see the SRS light still here. Well, might have to do some more digging into why. Man, it needs to reset itself. I don't know. But uh, I guess we're ready for the rust seal. Hey, I forgot that uh, the seat belt buckle switches need a 100 or 300 ohms so i'm gonna go put a 100 ohm resistor in there so it thinks that the seat belt is there and that needs to be either on a gray and green wire for the driver's side and brown or the gray and blue wire and brown for the passenger side so let me go find these and then uh we'll go from there got these 100 ohm resistors right here that i picked up these resistors here and I know where the passenger side is so let's plug it in the passenger side once you get that key to shut up so like it's saying like the brown and this is pink and white man what is up with that it must be different color that don't make any sense like it's, it was saying like gray and and blue or gray and brown let me double check this but I know I got a brown and now I got a white and a pink so it's really odd that this is the driver's side here you know it's next to the stairwell but I don't have a seat belt wire for this side so it's really weird and then this has tape over it and it had, it, it had these zip ties on it, but this side doesn't have electrical tape like right there. It has it kind of towards the bottom down here. You know, so I'm gonna take this electrical tape off here and see there's another set of wires that I'm missing. Okay, okay, figured it out. This red connector deals with the seat belt buckle. And I got a red connector right there. The yellow deals with the passenger seat occupancy sensor. So I gotta look that up to see what kind of own reading that takes. So I'm gonna put a resistor across this, put one across that red one, and I'm gonna look up this yellow one. So basically what I've done, I've taken the resistor and pushed it in where the two terminals or two wires are, are at. I kind of just fold it over uh, this in and I pushed it in I just kind of made like a little fold I'll show you real quick um my finger it's hard to do stuff with a camera but I kind of folded it over like that and stuck it in there so it makes a good connection so I'm gonna do the same with that red side and then we'll try to cut, cut it back on all right so we're gonna try it without this in that yellow connector that is for the passenger seat occupancy what is still back there and let's try to cut it back on yeah, I don't like dealing with it cold out here. All right, we got power. Let me see this airbag light it. Let's stick it right here. All right, it's there. Just checking it. It goes off there, but it comes back on. Yeah. I think maybe we got that passenger seat occupancy. We got to figure that out. That might be the last little thing. 
and then uh, we can see that goes off. I guess I could stick the pasture seat over there, but uh, that's the last little thing. I might grab it real quick. All right, so we stuck the pasture seat in, plugged it in. I'm gonna try to see if it goes off. Yeah, it looks like it comes back. Yeah, we'll have to get a computer, I guess. Yeah, it's still there. Now we get a funky little reading from the tachometer. That's a gas gauge. All right, we're gonna have to keep digging. Hey, so uh, no airbag blue. I think we're on the right track. I'm gonna actually put the software for the Mercedes-Benz Century uh, program on my work laptop. I'm gonna go ahead and plug, uh, program that on there. And uh, I got the uh, USB to uh, uh, OBD2 scan, uh, what is it, wire adapter. And uh, I'm, I'm gonna run the program and see if I can get into that computer for the airbag, see if we get that light off since we got all good sensors. I know everybody, everything's in, intact now and uh, we should, should be good to go, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna go ahead and order the rust seal, rust seal the floor, put everything back in and we'll keep going from there. I'll catch y'all the next one.